What's up guys, AT Reptile here on the Reptile channel and today we are going over corn snake cage setup. This is the main essentials you will need for your corn snake. Alright guys, so obviously if you are trying to keep any pet, well, mainly any reptile, you know, uh, whatever you're keeping, hamster, gerbil, whatever bird, you're going to need a cage for it. So usually these um, glass aquariums is what people keep it in, unless if you're a breeder, of course. But this, uh, the specs of this guy is a 15 long, so it's a um, 15, you know, and then it's longer than instead of higher. This is um, ideal for baby corn snakes, um, and then you will have to upgrade once they get bigger over time, but that will not be for a few years, so it'll be better. You'll save more money by just getting this than upgrading in a couple years. So, um, also, you're definitely going to need some heat source. Some people use lights, some people use an under-the-tank heater, some people use both. It's honestly your preference, but if you choose to use a light or if you choose a under the heater, make sure that it is the right temperature. If it's not, then you might need to use both or something. Um, you're also going to need a water water dish. They actually surprisingly like to drink water. Mine has drink uh, mine has drunk water probably about three four times since I've had them. And um, you're going to want some kind of branch, whether it's either a log or one of these artificial leaves. You need, need, need a hide, a hideout, no matter what kind of snake it is, no matter, you know, no matter what, even the leopard geckos, you need a hide for them. Um, so you need a hide. Um, if, if you do not have a hide, then they will get stressed out because snake, snakes are solitary animals. They like to be by themselves a lot. So the hide is a great place, and you're going to want that right under the light so they're still getting heat. And if you do have an under-the-tank heater, the best place for that to be would be where they like to chill out the most. Mine is right there in that hide, so I would be putting an under-the-tank heater right there. Okay, guys, so for any... Thing, um, any snake that you have, you're going to need bedding. Um, this is Eco-Earth. Some people use Aspen snake bedding. Some people use even newspaper. I only suggest newspaper for babies, which is fine for babies. But you will need to have regular bedding once they grow older. Um, um, let's see, people also use like the, um, you know, the like those grass pads that you can lay down and stuff, but um, Eco Earth is actually really good to clean, easy to clean if they poop, um, because really they'll just poop in one area and you can kind of just scoop that area out. Um, and then if you're a disgusting person, I guess you can just cover it with the <laughs> Eco Earth. So um, let's go ahead and take the snake out and I'll show you some things that you need to do when taking your snake out. Okay guys, so with any snake, like I said, you're going to need the light, so turn it off when you're about to take them out. Um, I have a cloth under here, so I can set it down. If it was just the straight wood, I would not set it down. You need to set it down somewhere, because it will get hot. You need to make sure you have a lock of some sort. If you do not, your snake can possibly get out. See, as this is locked on, it will not come out. So, just taking that off. Now we're able to slide it off. And then we go ahead and try and get the snake. When getting a snake, you have to get it with confidence and get it from behind the head, never go head first. So, there's an, you get a little overview of that snake right there. Looks beautiful. And um, we're going to go ahead and take him out right now so again like I said you never want to go head first from this way you always want to go behind it just like so it'll kind of flinch a little then you just pick it up with confidence like this you just pick it up that's all you got to do 
you know you can pick it up from right here behind the head right there this is right here is the ideal place to pick it up and um if you have a meaner snake when once you get it up in the air usually um it'll become pretty nice uh that's not always the case but sometimes um once you pick it up it'll be fine so we're going to go ahead and just take a little look at the snake show you a couple things about him and so there is the snake really pretty animal this is a corn snake if you guys know the morph please tell me in the comments below I'm not sure what kind of a uh, morph it is all I know is it's a corn snake and it's really pretty um, I don't know the um, gender because I'm actually kinda too scared to pop out the uh, hemipenes but if you were to do that then you would go to the tail area and kind of squeeze and I, it's it's kind of a weird thing um, but you have to do it very carefully or you might be able to uh, hurt your snake which you don't want happening so I'm just not gonna do it um, maybe I'll get a professional to do it sometime I'm not sure but yeah there's the snake um, looks pretty awesome snakes are great as pets corn snakes are great as starter pets as well as ball pythons um, yeah these guys are just really cool you can handle them just like this open up your fingers let him just crawl between let him slither let him go wherever he wants you know once he's kinda going off that hand grab him with the other one like this so that's the uh, kind of the proper way how to handle a snake and then I mean you can also just let it go like this but with corn snakes you have to be very careful keep an eye on them because they are quick animals not right now but if he wanted to he could dart off um, pretty quickly I mean so you have to just make sure you are aware of that and are watching your snake you don't want to just leave it there and um, forget about it you definitely don't want to Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next. Peace.